All right, uh, yeah, hi, I'm Matthias Leube. I'm a Prometheus, Thanos, Prometheus operator maintainer. I work at Polar Signals, and today I want to talk about the open source project Pura, uh, which aims to make uh, SLOs manageable, accessible, and easy to use for everyone. So, in the first place, why SLOs? Uh, they reduce your uh, like, uh, flakiness in alerts and kind of like quantify overall. So, Exactly. Th what are they? They quantify your uh, services, reliability target, and you can make data-driven decisions about the re reliability of your service. And I think you can agree that that's something we want. Um, so kind of like to formalize it a bit more, imagine an API website or something, and you want 99% of requests to succeed within five seconds, for example. And we measure that. And then on the flip side, we, when talking about SLOs, there's like the error budget. And the error budget is kind of the inverse of the, the objective uh, that we are measuring. Um, and for 90%, the error budget would be 10%, so on. Um, kind of always like 100% minus the objective is the error budget. So why Pura? Uh, Nadine Fehling, UX designer uh, at uh, Grafana and I, we kind of like knew we needed to do something to make it better for uh, users using Prometheus. And uh, we kind of started out interviewing uh, kind of a dozen SREs, different companies, to kind of really get an understanding for what is going on, and did a bunch of uh, product research uh, before even designing and even before uh, doing any engineering work. In the end, we came up with this kind of UI. You can see all the SLOs with their name, different labels, kind of Prometheus. Uh, style, you can label them, you can see the time window objective, and then the actual availability and the actual error budget that's left on the, on the uh, service. You can also always see if there's an alert firing for any of the SLOs. You can filter by availability, time window for example as well, and you can use the labels to filter, just like Prometheus or Alert Manager, you can filter SLOs as well. That's like a detail page for the SLOs. So if you click on one, you get uh, the name and then a better description so other people on the team really understand what's going on, but also maybe people from the other teams. The current availability and error budget is shown, and then a bit better understanding what the error budget looked like over time, you get a nice graph uh, you can drill down into as well. And then further down, we get like red uh, as a graph, so rate, errors, duration duration hopefully one day. And at the bottom you get the actual multi uh, burn rate alerts uh, kind of nicely shown. If there's some firing with the different severity, it's very clear how severe the incident is. It, it works with Prometheus, Thanos, and Cortex, or every uh, other product that implements the uh, query or query range APIs. You can deploy it on Kubernetes. It has a CRD, or you can uh, just use Docker or the binaries uh, to generate the rules and alerts uh, for Prometheus. So how do you create an SLO? Um, again, there's kind of a CRD. Get the namespace and, and name. You can get labels. Then you specify the time window uh, for the duration of the SLO, the target. And then you can say, is it an error ratio thing you want to alert on, or the uh, duration or latency? You give it an error metric. You give it the total metric. You can also do the same metric, different labels. You can filter into APIs, for example. And if you do that, kind of with the regex, you can also group by, similar to some by in Prometheus. And with one config, you get all the different SLOs by handler from one config. In the end, you get one, uh, you get the Prometheus uh, recording rules loaded into Prometheus, and just like that, also the alerting rules. Today, we released Pura uh, uh, 0 0.4. You can find it on GitHub. If you want to learn more, go on these pages, read the books. Uh, I've been on the Big Ten uh, podcast by Grafana, discussed with Bjorn uh, SLOs. Thank you to the contributors. And Grafana and Polar Signals are always hiring. Thanks.